Boy, do we have a humdinger of a news week for you guys. What is up, everybody? My name is Steven. Welcome to the Golden Cast or the Golden News. Usually these go up on Friday, but I was real busy yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to do it, which is totally fine on my part. Totally fine. It's, it's all good. It's all good. Anyways, we have some news stories to get through. We want to get to most of them. Welcome to the show where I go over all of the gaming news I hear throughout the week that I like, that I want to talk about. And there's a lot of them. So we're just going to kick it off right away. Black Ops 6 is coming to Game Pass. They've confirmed it is. Honestly, the smartest move they could do. Um, many people know that they own Activision Blizzard. It cost them like $70 billion. So already off the bat, you know that you, you know, you just you know that they had to do something to justify this purchase, and they're bringing Black Ops Six for sure is coming to Game Pass. We don't know about the other Call of Duties. We'll probably find out more about that on June 9th when Xbox does a showcase event. That's probably when we'll find out more on Call of Duty Black Ops Six. Uh, well, there's a whole side showcase dedicated to Black Ops Six, so we'll know a lot about that one. But if other Call of Duty is coming to Game Pass, honestly, I think it'd be the smart move. It'd be the smart move just to bring every Call of Duty to Game Pass. Be like, here it is. Play whichever ones you want. Watch as the servers repopulate. Watch as like Activision Blizzard just start raking in some more money because you open up all the servers, you allow people to download them all. You're gonna just you're gonna get a lot of flow of people. It just it honestly makes sense to bring all of them to Game Pass personally, and I think it would just be an absolute smart move on Xbox's part. Next up, guys. Moving to another gaming company, Lego has officially announced a Zelda set. You can get the Great Deku Tree. It's a two-in-one set. It's going to cost you $300. You can either make the Great Deku Tree from Breath of the Wild slash Tears of the Kingdom, or you can make the Great Deku Tree from Ocarina of Time. This is actually something I'm probably going to get, knowing me. It comes out in September, so I'll probably get it eventually, and then I will... I'll probably build the Ocarina of Time one, because that's kind of the more Deku Tree I, I like the most. I like that design better. I more prefer the... Deku tree design. Sorry, I got something in my head or my eye. Or not the Deku tree design. The, um, you know, the, the Ocarina of Time great Deku tree. More of a connection to it. Also, because this week it's been SGF and a lot of fun gaming news has been revealed by a lot of different companies. I do have a few things I want to talk about because I have a, um, we did. So, Marvelous games has done a showcase i've only watched a little bit of it and i'm going to talk about that one in a bit and then playstation i'm going to talk about what games came out or were announced on playstation that i'm looking forward to but before we get to that natsume announced there's a new harvest moon game coming in august and it's going to be for mobile now right away i'd be like ah oh, crap really mobile but then, i'm actually excited i like harvest moon i like story seasons i like the little dating sim or not dating sim farming sim kind of games i mean i like dating sims too but i love just the harvest moon and story season kind of games because they're just calm relaxing fun cozy games and a new one coming to mobile which is great which means i can play it on my break while i'm at work just makes it so much nicer so much more convenient for me as well as little cozy games maybe open world driving game from at from maverick has been confirmed and will be published by amazon games so maverick entertainment or maverick gaming i think they're called uh one of the founders of it is a guy called mike brown and if you don't know that name maybe if you are in the forza community you would know the username flawless cowboy that's who that is he used to work at turn 10 and playground making the forza games that's what he did. He was a director on it. He branched off. He left and made his own company. And his company got approved to publish a game through Amazon Games of an open world driving game. I'm pretty excited for it. I, I That's all we know about it so far. But I hope it does good. I hope it turns out to be exactly what Mike Brown wants. I hope he gets to continue making cool little open world driving games. And all things like that. So, <clears throat> now we're going to get into a few things of X Defiant news. Okay. Just some X-Defined news coming at you. Um, first off, there's new modes. This is going to get me to play X-Defined more because apparently these are all sort of leaks and stuff that could be coming and possibly coming within the year. Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, Infection, and it was a 2v2. Those are the modes coming out. 2v2 I probably won't play as much. Team Deathmatch, why not? I love Team Deathmatch, especially in Call of Duty. Just a super nice, easy way to grind and level up your... Your character, your guns, and things like that. Just Team Deathmatch also allows you to kind of learn the premise of the game a little more. Capture the Flag. I love Capture the Flag in any game mode. Any game you play. Any shooter. Even if it's a racing game. I think Forza had it at one point. They had Capture the Flag. Which is just 
phenomenal and is awesome. It's such a good, such a good mode. I love it. You know, you take the flag, you run back, you, you try to score points. It's, it adds a little bit of suspense to it. Infection, favorite game mode from Call of Duty. Uh, play the crap out of it on... I think they have Infection on Black Ops 4. Played a lot of Infection on, I believe, Black Ops 3. A lot of Infection on Infinite Warfare. A lot of Infection on Advanced Warfare, Modern Warfare 3. Loved the game mode Infection. Played it all Played all the time on Halo. It's like my go-to playlist whenever I play Halo um, Master Chief Collection. Or even Infinite, it's just Infection. Such a fun game mode. Because you're with a group of people trying to survive. And as it slowly grows, grows smaller and smaller. You just, like, you get a little scared. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and... That, yeah, that's it. So those three are there. I'm super, super excited to get those. Uh, new factions. So there's new factions teased. And I want to grab the tweet to make sure I have this correct. I think I it was a liked tweet of mine. Um, oh, boy. Sorry, bear with me for a minute. I'm trying to remember the actual factions that they announced or teased that were coming. Um, I could just look up X Defiant. No, am I even following? I'm not fo How am I not following X Defiant? That's weird. They taken down. X Defiant just banned their biggest fan account on Twitter. RIP X Defiant alerts. Okay, so this was twelve hours ago. X Defiant alerts got taken down. Well, that's another news story in itself. So X Defiant alerts is number one news source for everything X Defiant related. Turn on notifications today. X Defiant news updates and more. They were they were bringing us all the information we love to know about X Defiant. Wow, this is where I got all my X Defiant news was from X Defiant alerts. So, anyways, X Defiant factions. Uh, I believe there's some guys from Breakpoint, some more Watch Dogs characters, uh, some more Far Cry Six characters, and then for some reason Assassin's Creed. I don't know how they would do that though. I don't know how they would get Assassin's Creed characters into it if they did like more like a main uh, melee focused kind of people. I don't know. Um, as well as another thing X Define related that was kind of like teased a little bit, a map called Daytona, which is a crew style map. So they're literally just getting all of their, um, franchises into the game and I, I love it. I love it. I would like a crew style map. I mean, there's a lot of games that have a racetrack map. I think Modern Warfare either 2 or 2019 had a racetrack theme map. So, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm down. You, you got me. I'm in. I'm down. Let's do it. And the last news story I have for you guys before we get into some of the stuff from the PlayStation State of Play uh, that I want to talk about. Test Drive Unlimited is back September 12, 2024. So September 12, 2024 is when Test Drive Unlimited will be back and able to play. Now, it has been a while since Test Drive was around. Um, and I, I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence whether or not I might get this game. I probably won't right away. But you never know. And I'm pretty excited for that. Anyways, let's move on into not everything that was announced, but just some of the stuff that I want. Okay, I have... So, first off, Comcord, they showed a bit of it. At first, I was like, yes, 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 I want this game. Then they said it was a 5v5 hero shooter, and I'm like, oh, not that interested in the game anymore. Sorry, Comcord. New Dynasty Warriors, I think that's pretty cool. I love Hyrule Warriors. I love Fire Emblem Warriors. I love any Warrior-related game. So I might play, pick up and try Dynasty Warriors. Where Wins Meet was a really cool-looking game. It kind of had a cool little, like, um, Feudal Japan kind of art style, which did look really, really, really neat. Um, but the game of the showcase that I freaking love and I am so excited for, Astrobot. There's a new one coming. Oh, I'm hyped. I'm excited for it. Definitely excited for new Astrobot. Definitely can't wait to play it. Definitely can't wait to see what they have in store. Anyways, that's going to do it for me in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you all have a phenomenal and amazing day. I hope everything you wanted to do gets done. And I will catch you all next time. Peace out, everyone.